Hey, my name is Scott Nimrod, and I'm going to be presenting from a developer's perspective, application development, um, software development, engineering tasks, aka SDAT. So, with that said, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Where do you rate yourself in regards to a professional developer? Okay. Do you consider yourself good? Do you consider yourself professional? Think about the professionals in other industries. Think about dentists, doctors, same thing, I guess. Think about the mechanics at your local car dealership. Dealership, not used car dealership. Dealership, right? Think about... Think about uh, the pilots. Think about factories, you know, and the quality assurance processes that they have, the checklists that they go through, the automation that they leverage. Professionals, they, they maintain records, they scrutinize, they challenge, they continuously poke holes in the subjects to qualify them as, well, industrial grade services, products, right? Do you build industrial grade software? Has your software been thoroughly tested? and proven. Translate it. I'm not talking about QA. I'm talking about you. Are you a professional developer? Do you scrutinize your code? As a professional developer, do you have the ability to prove your code works without having to manually launch the entire system? and manually test the UI and go through the debugger and stepping through code to realize that, oh, that was not what I expected. Terminate, you know, the runtime, add some more snippets or modify, modify. run the entire application again, manually step through all the code and keep doing the same workflow, the same cycle over and over and over. You write programs, right? You're a professional developer, professional programmer. Why are you manually testing your code? If you're a programmer, shouldn't you be writing a program to check your program? Again, are you a professional developer? Okay. I'll leave it alone, but I think it's it's something that we should all ask ourselves and 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 really reflect on who we are and what we do, and hold ourselves accountable. Not not our employers, right? Hold hold ourselves accountable, and uh, do you view your your job as your own personal practice or are you like some people that believe that uh, it's the company that's responsible for teaching you how to be a professional developer if you work at a delivery company you work in the IT space you build some desktop applications or any any internal line of business applications is it up to the company to train you, to teach you how to be a professional developer so that you can build software for them? Is it a delivery companies or whatever company you work for, is it their responsibility when their domain is not based on software? Their domain is based on something else. Do you hold them liable for training you to be a professional developer, to, to build software for them? Would you hire somebody? To, to fix your sink 
but you have to train them to fix your sink and then you're going to pay them on your time to fix your sink or do you expect the person that you hire to hold themselves accountable and already have that skill that you don't have to train them for right you don't have to pay to train them and then pay for them to make more mistakes than what is necessary no you don't so why are so many of us doing this now ha okay i'm done venting i'm done ranting now based on you know the, the this dissertation that dissertation i just gave uh let's talk about testing so if you do test your code, if you do know how to prove your code programmatically, then more than likely you probably do that through quote unquote unit tests. Okay. And maybe you think you're you're pretty good, right? It's uh you 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 write happy path tests right sad path tests and um, you you're in love with the workflow of red green refactor and you always know where you're at in general with the status of your work what you have done and nailed down completed in regards to the business requirements and what you're working on and you know that you didn't inject or you know that there's a low probability relatively speaking, that you didn't inject any breaking changes. And if you find out that you did, even though all your tests are green, and you identify that there's an issue, there's an anomaly that was introduced as a result of new code or modified code within the system, as a professional developer, you, I know you do this. I know you do this. If you can prove that it's business logic, not integration logic, right? But if it's within the if it's code within the actual core domain, right? Business domain, then you write another test to make sure that it never ever happens again. And this this is beautiful because we don't spin our wheels. We we're professional developers. We spend the majority of our time building, constructing, you know, the Tower of Babel, you know. We spend more time developing and not necessarily debugging. And so that's where we want to strive to be. We want to strive to be professional developers and not professional debuggerers.